For today's video, I'll be using something unusual for a privacy screen. And I got this from Lowe's and it is a garden trellis. This was not expensive at all and it also has provision to have it mounted on the wall. This is a space that I want to cover, and besides it is a door that has a design in gold. So I will be spray painting the garden trellis with gold spray paint so it would go with the gold design that's by the door. When it was dry, I brought it in and it looks absolutely beautiful. I extended the part of the wall with a design to reach the door and then the trellis that I got does not get to the very end so what I did is to use a crate to fill up the space and I just got a regular crate and spray painted it white and attached it close to the wall so that it would fit snug with the garden trellis. I covered some part of the crate with a flexible mirror sheet. I was gonna leave it this way, but at the back it has an opening that I'm not comfortable with, so I'm gonna be covering that up with foam board that I'll cut to size. And I joined two pieces to give me the desired height that I needed. And by the side, I added a decorative trim to make it easy for me to have this sturdy and also easy for me to have it attached to the wall. This is what the privacy screen now looks like. I have another idea that I shared with you all a while back that is renter friendly and super affordable as well. This is an outdoor floor covering. I love the pattern, I love the design and it's a see-through. And it's from Ikea and it costs $12.99 per pack and it covers about 8.7 square feet. Assembling this is pretty easy. You just align them and put one over the other until it clicks. I'll be using just three packs for now to see what it's going to look like. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. These are going to be suspended with book rings that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'll be attaching this thick PVC to the ceiling. You can also use wood for this. I 
I'm gonna mark down the points to make it easy for me to mount them. I'll be using command strips to mount what I have up onto the ceiling and this command strips can hold up to 16 pounds. Not just a pair like this. can hold up to 16 pounds and I'm going to be using three. This might seem like it's a little bit too much, but I would rather be safe than sorry because I don't want to mount this onto the ceiling and it falls down on me. So I'm going to be using three. I'll be using cup hooks to hold the floor covers. Now all I'm gonna do is mount this to the ceiling first and I'm gonna make sure that I apply a lot of pressure till I know that it's firmly in place. I made this in a way that it's easy to mount and easy to remove as well. This is a requested video and I don't really need this because of the layout that I have in my apartment. But I'm just gonna try it out anyway because I kind of like the idea of having a separate space, but in the future, if it's gonna be too much of an inconvenience, I might decide to just remove it. Now I'm gonna be working on the lengths that I need and when I'm done, I'm going to be covering them with mirror reflective paper and attaching them to the floor covers. I did not close the mats because I want this to be wider. So in between is where I'm going to be attaching the strips. I'll be using the same strip for the bottom, but if you like, you can use wood and cover it with contact paper and use command strips to attach it to the wall, the floor, and the newly made privacy screen. I later on added another pack because three was not enough. Here's what the privacy screen looks like. I have to admit that this is a cute and interesting way to separate spaces and still have adequate lighting and ventilation. The light that surrounds me. 
You can also add an extra design at the back if you like. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.